convincing set of circumstances signaling your intention to murder your husband. Mr. Holmes. Uh, Laura, in this character, uh, you are based, of course, in a book, because it is based in a book. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you interpret it? Is it? Do you revert always to the book, or do you restrict yourself to the screenplay? Uh, and to the directors? It, it, it's a good question. Uh, it, it depends. Um, in this case, I, I use my primary resource as the script because the script is a little different from the book, but I certainly used the book as a resource about getting hints and information about who this woman was and how she behaved and what she wanted and what she didn't want. And so there's information there that's very valuable. And then also from what uh, our spectacular director Bill Condon wanted the story that he wanted to tell so I would really listen to whatever Bill wanted because I've, I'm, I've worked with him several times before so I know I know what a master he is and um, and with that when you've been able to work with someone over and over and over again there's a level of trust that's that's you know a real luxury well they, uh, we know about Sherlock Holmes that he was mm -hmm. not really fond of women and he True. even correct mis yeah. there, uh, or people there was this mistrust <laughs> yes <laughs> he didn't like people in general <laughs> he particularly didn't like women you're right yeah uh, when you want to take a project what really uh, the deciding factor oh well sure it's it's a combination of things it's it's always the people involved it's the quality of the script um, and then there are the mundane reasons their schedule where is it being filmed you know there are things like that but but most of the time it's really um, there has to be one of three things. There has to be either a great director, a great script, or a great actor that you're working with. Um, if there are two of those things, great. If it's all three, it's a slam dunk. Um, and with certain people who you, uh, you know, who you build relationships with over time, and there, there are certain directors who I, I will just, I'll do whatever they want me to do. I, I don't have to read the script. I'll just show up for them. Um, and happily so. Do you know what I would do if someone did that to me? I would stab him 78 times. Speaking for a great actor, you, are work, you worked on this movie with a great actor, Ian yes. McKellen. Yeah. And he said about you that you're up there with Meryl Streep. Oh, that's in incredibly generous and embarrassing to hear. But, well, <laughs> but it's, 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 the an, fact that it's you an effusive compliment, which is very, very nice, but, but for well, some his, reason makes his me His words very are backed by many accolades. You collected yeah. three Oscar nominations, you Golden Globes, Stony mm -hmm. Awards. But when we look at your career, we hardly see you in a lead role. You're mainly in f male stories. Why is that? I have when no idea. It's just the way it's, it's happened, I guess. That's interesting. So, <laughs> yeah, I, so that was not <laughs> your choice. Oh, none of us have any choices. You know, the idea that actors have a lot of choices is, is a complete myth. I mean, mm -hmm. you, you, you're an actor for hire. You, I mean, there may be four people on the planet who, who have that type of uh, control over their own career. You can try to have control over your own career, but most of, most of the time, you, you, you do what you're what you're offered, and you're damn lucky to be there at all. He's gone. Yes. Okay. Yes. Want to do it again? No. I mean, my ego is not that I have to be the lead in everything. You know, you learn a lot, and you get to work with other people, and and. Um, you know, and I've, I've, I've had my share of leads, and those have been fantastic, and I've had my share of supporting parts and big parts and little parts, and, you know, it's, it's the more you get to do, regardless of the size or the medium, for that matter, whether it's television or radio or film or TV, you know, it's, it's the life of an actor. Your mom and I, we're going to separate. I've got you Tuesday, Wednesday, and every other Thursday. Well, what about the cat? The cat? We didn't discuss the cat. I'll come by to tell you I'm not staying here anymore. Why? Because you cheated on Dad. Your father told you. Under our noses, like a brothel, men coming in and out. You sound like your father. Well, I'm so. asking because you began your career in theater and mm -hmm. you excelled in it. And um, so uh, my question is, do you uh -huh. think you feel more liberated in theater? You can express yourself better as an actress? I, you know, I don't, I don't know. I think they're so different. They're very, very different. The lifestyle is different. The, the job requirements are different. The... The way you tell the story is different, so I, um, I think you can live a, a, a full, long life in the theater in the way that, that maybe you can't in film. Um, I, you know, and I've been very fortunate that I that I jump back and forth. Um, and I think it's why I've been able to work as much as I have, is because I don't work in just one medium. You know, I work, 
I, I do a lot of television, I do a lot of film, I do a lot of TV, I meet a lot of theater, so it's, it's kept me very, very busy, fortunately. All right, thank you very yeah, much. My pleasure, my pleasure. Mm -hmm.